Good morning. What's going on, people? Today, we're back out here in the food forest, and we're going to be concentrating on removing stumps today. So, we've got a lot of the debris and wood shit, or I guess tree trunks and trees cut down and picked up. We still have uh, quite a few leaves and just small debris that needs to be picked up. Um, so far, we've done a hogo culture pit over here. We've um, cleaned up some more areas and started to wood chip that area that was recently cleaned. And today, i um, just feeling a little bit like taking it easy. So I'm just going to focus on removing some tree stumps. I've got three wood chump, uh, tree trunks or stumps in front of me that I'm going to be concentrating on. And I'll show you what we do and how we get rid of it with the Kubota BX. All right, so these are the three tree stumps that we're going to be removing today with the backhoe on this Kubota. I've got a small subcompact tractor, a Kubota BX23S, and uh, it does a good job with tree stumps about this size. So we're going to be taking these out today, and we'll let you see uh, what, is, what is involved in removing a tree stump. And I hope you enjoy, and let's get this started. I'm going to crank this bad boy up, and we're going to go to work.
for number three. what happens as you start to expose those roots then you can make the tree or uh, tree stump unstable and then you can get it out realign myself now and I can get on the two sides of this tree stump and this should allow me to take it out <coughs> I got to lower these nice strong root right there and I've got to find the end of it and break it like I got to it. See how much looser the tree is now?
there we go. Stump number three. Nice long tap root. Okay, well, here we go. Three stumps out today. That was the goal. Looks like the weather's starting to change. Wind is picking up a little bit. Clouds are getting a little gray. Although as I say that, it stopped blowing, right? But anyway, this is a big hole for three stumps. And you might be saying, well, what am I gonna fill this hole back with? Well, you got all this soil that came out from it. I've got a big, a, a big pile of sand and rocks over here and so quite a bit of that will also be going back into this humongous hole and that's it uh i'm not gonna worry about putting the stumps back in although that's something i'm considering uh that big log right there could actually go in but uh right now I'm just happy I got three of these stumps out and I can backfill this. Maybe tomorrow I'll take a break for the rest of the day. You can see I've got one, two, three, four. Let's see, this group of stumps right here. I've got five over there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 more stumps to remove. Actually, it'll end up being more because I have a few more trees that I want to cut down. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this guy right here down. I'm gonna cut anything that I'm looking at right now that especially is towards the edge of this here forest area. And it's less than say eight inches thick. I'm gonna cut it down, take out the stump, and these are gonna be ideal locations for fruit trees. So as you're looking at the edge of this here forest area, right before the grass starts to pick up, all these small trees are gonna get cut down. So you can see a nice little cluster of stumps right here to pick up. Nice little cluster of stumps over there to pick up. Man, I've got more than 12, way more than 12. But uh, this is what it is, folks. This little tree right here, I'll be cutting that down, taking out that stump. So I might as well cut that down and then get on all these clumps over here. This tree here, I guess I'll take that down. It's a good, good place for a nice fruit tree, nice understory. If you don't know what understory means, it means the trees that are beneath these large trees that are taking up the canopy, top canopy. And so we've got a few of these large trees in here and in certain spots, the canopy is starting to open up. So especially when I take down some of these smaller trees, the canopy will open up even more. And then I'll have good places to put fruit trees and berries and things of that nature. So we'll have some fun in here. I see a lot of acorns on the ground. I'm going to try to bring in some walnut trees and uh, this area right here. I've got a cluster of these three trees to cut down and all this little debris right here to clean up this log. I may make another hugo culture uh, pit right here because I've got that big log over there that's starting to uh, break down. I've got a few little logs over here. Plus, I'm going to be cutting down some trees. So I may make another hugo culture pit somewhere in this area to get rid of all of this stuff right here, especially as I'm digging up the stumps. So 
this will be fun. Good project. This uh, Hugo Culture Pit is still breaking down. Looks like it's getting smaller every day. And that's to be expected. That's to be expected. In a few weeks, I'll come in here and dig into it and see, let you see what the soil looks like underneath. All right, so just a lot of cleanup. Just a lot of cleanup just to make things look, you know, much cleaner and much more neat. And this is where we at, people. This is uh, working in the forest and trying to build up the forest soil. So this is all what was cleared out. And you can see we got a lot more stumps to clear out. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Simple Way Farmstead.